British Airways pilots are beginning a two-day strike over pay, the first time in the airline's history that they've taken industrial action. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled, disrupting the plans of thousands of travellers. The British Airline Pilots Association says BA should share more of its profits. BA says its pay offer is fair. Joining me now is Simon Calder, travel editor of The Independent. Uh, morning to you, Simon. This action is unprecedented. How did we get here? Well, it's a very, very bad-tempered dispute. Of course, we've seen pilot strikes, particularly at uh, airlines such as Air France, but in general, relations between the pilots at uh, British Airways um, and the airline itself have been pretty good. There's been no strikes for the last 40 years. However, this is purely a dispute over pay. Uh, the pilots say British Airways really needs to give them a bigger slice of the around 2 billion euro of profits that uh, the airline makes each year. Uh, British Airways says, look, we're offering you a pay rise above inflation. You're already some of the best paid um, pilots in Europe. Uh, we're not going to give you any more cash. But the effect, as you can possibly see behind me here at uh, Heathrow Terminal 5, the main base of British Airways, is that almost every flight has been grounded. Uh, 200,000 passengers over the two days will be affected. 1,700 flights cancelled and an awful lot of anger, both from the airline, which is set to lose around 100 million euro from this two-day action, from the pilots who say they're not being taken seriously by the manager, management and, of course, by the passengers, um, some of whom are very sadly haven't been told that there was a strike and are showing up here hoping to get to uh, their destination. But um, uh, on the board behind me, there's a, a flight to Cairo, uh, to Tokyo, and there's one inbound flight from Edinburgh in Scotland. If you want to go anywhere else on British Airways today, you're out of luck. You mentioned there the cost this is going to come at to British Airways. The pilots are saying, look, that's more expensive than just settling the dispute. So what's BA's take on this? And ultimately, what damage is it doing to their reputation? Well, the reputational damage, you're quite right, is unquantifiable, particularly since uh, last night the pilots came out and said, oh, by the way, we've got a mandate for further strike action until January, therefore implying that there might be uh, strikes perhaps over the Christmas and New Year period, which is normally very lucrative for British Airways. BA doesn't want to settle with the pilots, partly because it feels that its uh, deal, they say, is perfectly fair, but also more practically because they have already settled with nine out of ten employees employed as ground staff cabin crew engineers and so on and uh, they ha have agreed the 11.5 percent pay rise over three years better than inflation here in the uk and of course if they give an inch to the pilots then the other unions are going to be straight round saying thank you very much we'd like to start renegotiating please so it's a difficult situation for everyone and caught in the middle those 200,000 passengers